when you have issues in different parts of your body and different organs and different zones and different joints, that there's a underlying mental emotional imbalance there that's really consistent from person to person. So for example, everybody that I ever work on who has right hip issues has a busy mind and a busy body. They're like, go, 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 go. They're kind of out in front of themselves. They got a to-do list going. <laughs> and then, and that displaces their electrical energy. It shifts it over to the right side off the hip. And so this electrical energy that's supposed to be providing information, order, structure, and function to the physiology is now off the body. You're like literally beside yourself, you know, yes. And so, uh, so understanding the biofield anatomy, knowing that sadness tends to accumulate here, uh, we make sad sounds and play sad chords and we get everyone to be sad and express sadness. And then we come to a neutral place and then we come to the resolution or the opposite. So sadness turns into joy and you get to feel what that feels like in your body. Fear resolves into harmony, which is so beautiful. We, you know, the, the whole like opposite of fear is love. Um, but what we found was no, that fear when it resolves, resolves into the state of nature, which is harmony and us. Really, you know, that's what's going on here. Underneath everything is harmony all the time in us, around us. It's just our own tempest in a teapot that obstructs us from that. And so having having this understanding of the fluidity and the location and the sounds of different emotions helps people to really understand and connect with their own feelings because we're so disconnected from our feelings and yet our feelings exquisite awareness of our own emotional movements is a major cornerstone in being healthy. And it's one that isn't really talked about very much. And what I have found is sort of the basis of biofield tuning. What I'm treating in people is emotions that they don't know what to do with. So people suppress, you know, they stuff and blow or they deny or they vibe high so that they're not feeling shame. I mean, there's all kinds of, or they shop or they smoke or they drink or they take pills. <laughs> But if we can learn to understand and respond to and 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 express in a healthy way, and music and voice is you know the best way to do that, um, and then that brings us into a state of flow of just recognizing and moving with and being moved by and expressing how we feel, uh, and not buttoning it in and holding it back. And you know, I say most people are emotionally constipated, right. and then they just. And in their own way. And when we can learn to flow with our feelings, that's so, so important. So that's part of the exercise. And, and the whole program is designed to bring you into your body, to understand the, your electric body, your electric soul, your electric voice, and, and, and have fun with it. Because one of the greatest joys of being human is playing with our own instruments. You know, I don't know, Nathan, if you've ever sung in a group, but it's so, it feels so good, you know, making yeah. music yeah. together. Or even in a road trip with friends and everybody's singing at the top of their lungs, your carpool karaoke, it, it makes you high. It raises your voltage. It brings up joy. Like nothing works better than that, you know, really. Uh, so that's the aim of Sing the Body Electric is to bring people into that just place of natural joy of expression without judgment stories and ink, you know, that we all have.